N phases second generation IQ battery, a sleek new form factor, extended warranty option, and lower cost than the original N charge battery. These are just a few of the developments in N phases new generation 2 battery, which we're going to be telling you all about in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about everything having to do with home renewable energy, solar power systems, uh, battery storage systems, uh, and even generator backup systems as well. You'll find product reviews and comparisons, as well as in-depth product videos like today's here, where we're looking at the new second generation Enphase IQ battery. Now, for those of you who have been following this for a while, you'll recall that the original Enphase battery was called the N-Charge. And uh, th that's another part of what's happened here with the new generation 2 battery is everything has kind of gotten rebranded a little bit. So originally you had what they called the Ensemble Solution, which included the N-Charge battery, which came in a 3 kilowatt hour and a 10 kilowatt hour size. You had the Empower Smart Switch, which was your intelligent transfer switch. And then you had the Enphase Combiner, which is just your AC combiner where all your microinverters would come in, get combined into one aggregate solar feed circuit, and then either tie into the smart switch or tie in to feed your breaker panel. Well, now they've changed all the branding to IQ. So the new solution is known as the Enphase IQ battery system, which consists of the Enphase IQ battery, uh, still comes in sizes 3 and 10 kilowatt hours. Uh, the Enphase IQ System Controller 2, which again is your intelligent transfer switch, and then the Enphase IQ Combiner, which of course is where all of your Enphase IQ series microinverters will feed in and then they become combined into one large solar feed circuit. So that's one of the big things that's changed is the branding. This is no longer the, the Ensemble system, this is now the Enphase IQ system or the Enphase IQ battery system. Now, as I touched on earlier, the 10 in the product name, the IQ Battery 10T, refers to the storage capacity. And so in this case, it's a 10 kilowatt hour storage capacity battery. But I'd like to show you guys what's new with the current generation battery compared to the original Ensemble with the N-Charge 10 versus today's IQ Battery 10. Uh, and the first thing you're probably gonna notice is the physical appearance. So the physical appearance on the battery uh, you may not be able to tell so much on the flat image, but basically the battery has gotten wider, it's gotten taller, but it's gotten a lot thinner. Now, the original N-Charge 10 battery had physical dimensions of 42 inches wide by 26 inches tall and 12.6 inches deep. So, so it was a pretty thick, chunky battery in terms of the amount of wall space and just how far out from the wall the battery came. Now the new IQ Battery 10 has physical dimensions of 50 and a half inches wide, so much wider, 30 and a half inches tall, but now only 7.4 inches deep out from the wall. So it's a much, much lower profile battery. Um, it's going to give you much more space, especially if you're wall mounting this battery inside your garage or inside your basement. It'll just give you more usable space. And of course, the nice thing about these Enphase batteries is that you can stack multiple batteries vertically. So you can actually stack up to three batteries on top of each other vertically so that you minimize the footprint that the battery takes. Uh, and again, with the new battery only coming off the wall, 7.4 inches, you're, you're virtually you know, not, not, not losing any usable space within the garage or your basement or wherever you choose to mount the battery. Also, aesthetically, I think the battery looks much, much nicer. Uh, I, I think that that first generation battery really did have a chunky look to it. Uh, and, and part of the reason for that is that inside the Enphase battery, and this is something unique to the Enphase battery architecture, but they actually use Enphase microinverters, the Series 8 microinverters, 
to do the internal uh, inversion and rectification, you know, your, your AC to DC and, and DC to AC conversion. When you're, when you're using the battery to power loads or when you're accepting charge in, AC charge in, to charge the battery. Um, so that function is accomplished internally using 12 of the Enphase IQ8 series microinverters. Now, the original N-Charge 10 batteries had the microinverters installed perpendicular to the battery case. And that's the reason why you had that over 12 inches of depth from the wall. Whereas with the new Enphase IQ Battery 10 series, or the, or the 10T I should say, those internal microinverters are now uh, angled diagonally. So you don't, you don't need to sacrifice so much depth in terms of the battery casing. Now, I should also say about using those microinverters internally does make Enphase really the most redundant system available. Uh, you've probably all heard about the advantage of, of a microinverter based system on your solar array. It eliminates any central point of failure on your solar array, right? So if, let's say if one of the solar panels was damaged, you might lose power output from that single solar panel, but you're not going to use or you're not going to lose the total system output the way that you would if you had a central inverter and the central inverter itself was damaged or malfunctioned. Well, similarly on the battery side, being that the end phase, whether it's the previous generation or the, the current generation, being that internally the batteries use the microinverters for the inversion and rectification means that if you had an, an internal component failure, uh, you're not looking at losing the entire battery. In fact, you really would just be losing one twelfth of the battery capacity. If one of the internal microinverters failed, you just lose one twelfth of the capacity. And then of course, if you have a multi-battery system where you have multiple of these IQ battery 10s connected together in parallel, likewise, if one went bad or if one of the internal microinverters of one battery went bad, you're not losing the whole system. You're just losing a portion of the, uh, the power and the storage capacity. So in terms of redundancy, Enphase really has the best thing going, uh, having that distributed architecture both on the solar side and on the battery side. Now, in addition to the slimmer, more low profile form factor, Enphase has also been able to reduce 25 pounds of weight on the new IQ battery 10 series. So whereas on the original N-Charge 10 battery, you had a total unit weight of 341 pounds, the new IQ battery 10T only has a weight of 316 pounds. So definitely an improvement here, especially for the installers that have to transport these and get them mounted up on the wall at the time of installation. Now, the other thing that Enphase has chosen to expand upon is the warranty. Now, the original N-Charge 10 battery had a 10-year, 4,000 cycle warranty. Uh, and that's actually the same as what the IQ Battery 10 comes with standard. However, Enphase now offers an option to extend the warranty for up to 15 years and 6,000 cycles. Uh, and the cost is only an extra $1,000 uh, per battery or per, per IQ battery 10. So if you're doing a whole house backup, maybe using three of these batteries for $3,000, you can extend your warranty term by 50%. Now, one of the big questions that I've been getting and one of the big questions that have come up during actual installations has been the question of backwards compatibility. Now, as of this recording, and if you go onto Enphase's website today, uh, they will still show that the IQ series battery is backwards compatible with the previous generation IQ6 and IQ7 microinverters, um, as well as with the M series microinverters, which came before them. However, what I can tell you is that our installation partners are very reluctant to offer the current generation battery with anything other than the current generation IQ8 microinverters. Uh, and I think again, a lot of that has to do with the compatibility and, and, the, and the firmware on the microinverters being able to, to talk properly to the battery so that everything works together seamlessly as one integrated system. Now, I should also comment on that because one thing that I've seen on the projects that we've done using the Enphase battery, whether it's the, the older N-Charge 10 or the new IQ battery 10, is that all of the installations seem to require some sort of a firmware update at the time of system commissioning. 
And what that indicates to me, especially a guy like me having, you know, formerly been a software developer and a software project manager, whenever you have to do a software update every time, as, you know, every time you activate a new product out of the box, you know, indicates to me that the manufacturer is just constantly working on uh, fleshing out the feature set and working out the bugs. So part of me feels a little bit uncomfortable when you always have to do these constant software updates, uh, especially you know, if you're preparing for a, a long-term grid down event where, where there may not be internet access or you may not be able to get tech support on the phone to walk you through these updates. Um, end phase, at the moment at least, the impression I get is that uh, end phase is very much in a rapid development kind of mode where they are releasing new features, they're releasing bug fixes, and they're re you know, releasing updates. Uh, at, a, at a very high rate of speed. And so, uh, again, although technically you may be able to use the new Generation 2 battery with some of the previous generation microinverters, um, I would recommend if you're, you're looking at starting a system from scratch to really just go with everything current state-of-the-art. IQ8 series microinverters, IQ controller, IQ battery, and make sure everything that's going to be able to communicate properly together. The other positive development has been that the cost of the batteries has come down. Um, whereas a lot of the other manufacturers, like Tesla for example, has actually been raising the cost of their batteries over the past year or two, um, Enphase has actually been able to reduce their per battery cost. Now, if you're getting quotes for battery backup systems, um, you are going to find that the first battery is generally quoted at a, at a much higher price than a second, third, or fourth battery. Uh, and that's because the first battery is not just the battery. The first battery is generally going to include your IQ system controller, which again is your intelligent transfer switch, um, as well as um, the installation, hooking that up to the power grid, in some cases doing a generator hookup as well, and then moving circuits over as needed if you're setting up a critical loads panel. So the first battery quoted, if you're getting a full installation quote, the first battery quoted is always going to be higher than the remaining, but I think what you're going to find is that if you add a second, third, or fourth battery, your incremental per battery cost is going to be a little bit lower on the next generation end phase here. Well, hey folks, if you're in the process of looking at different battery backup options for your home, the Enphase IQ battery system is definitely one that you're going to want to take a look at. It has pretty much all the current state-of-the-art features. Lithium iron phosphate chemistry, uh, the ability to have generator support, uh, AC coupling architecture, uh, just about everything that you need, as well as supporting multiple operating modes, whether it's backup mode, self-consumption mode, uh, or time of use offset, which is going to be especially important for those of you that live in areas where you get, you get penalized with, with these super on-peak rates, super high on-peak rates, where you can actually use the battery to allow you to consume from the battery so you can avoid ever having to purchase from the utility during those peak rate hours. Well, folks, as always, if you're in the process of looking at different solar with battery backup options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe if you already have a quote and you need to get a comparison quote just to make sure that you're getting the right equipment, uh, getting the most up-to-date equipment, and getting a good deal, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a Zoom call with one of our experts here and just kind of talk through what the options are, and then we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information over to you right away. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that we have on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish new videos, they'll come up on your homepage, come up on your feed, and you can stay up to date with us. Well, folks, I thank you for spending some time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.